Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create protrusion with quilts. We will start from scratch, we will define new name of the model, so E06, and we will create first revolve feature. With revolve feature it's possible to create surface directly, so please select the surface and then select the sketch plane. In the sketch plane you can directly orient to D and do not show the datum planes. If you will create a center line and then you will create an entity, for example, line, the system will automatically create the diameter dimensions. We would like to change the dimension on the same time, so I will select entities and use the function modify from the layout menu and we will specify that this diameter is 8. You can automatically refit the sketch and then move the object as you need. The height of the line is 2.7 and we will continue with the additional line so you can drag and for example if you would like to use the same or equal dimension you can use again from the flyout menu equal. What does it mean? If you will change it here 2.5 the system will automatically change here. If I will select the tree it will be changed out automatically. What we'd like to do is to define the additional dimension. So, for example, we will specify the height of the entities. And the height will be 10. Between these two lines, we will create a spline and the spline will be defined by three points. So, simply to create a spline, and define the constraint, tangent constraint. So please select the tangent constraint and first entity and the spline, again, spline and entity. If you would like to change dimensions, you can see that system automatically creates, so no problem. You can specify that this one will be, for example, 14. And if you will create new diameter dimension, for example, the middle point of the spline, you can select entity, axis, entity and middle button so we will specify diameter for the selected point and over here will be for example 5.8 yeah or maybe something bigger so for example 10 fine and then you can specify the high and will be 4.8 great our shape is definite so if you come from ok you can define how we would like to open or what is the diameter or angle of the revolve feature. So we would like to use, for example, the angle 180 and you can flip the orientation. Yeah, for example, like this, because we would like to, in default, if I go solo control D, we would like to see it as we want. Confirm OK and the system will show me the necessary information. The second feature what I would like to use is the projection. So we will project the curve. So over here you can see that it's the pro possible to project chain or in the menu it's possible to select project the sketch. We will define new sketch plane and I will jump to sketch and again in over here we would like to create a spline and spline will be defined again with three points and for example like this and again we will specify the new position so over here will be 3, 2.5 and for example 5 from here. We would like to go the normal to the selected entities so please create new dimension of the spline endpoint and reference, select the control button and place dimension with middle button. Specify 90 degree and again same, select spline, endpoint, reference and middle button and 90 degree. So we'll be going like we need. Sketch is ready. We will come from OK and you can see that system asks you on which surface you would like the project. So specify the surfaces and specify the direction. So we would like to go normal to this reference and the system will spline 
this blind will be projected on the selected surfaces. Looks great. And we can continue with the selected curve. You can use the sweep feature. Again, we will use the surfaces. And in the sketch, we will create simple circle with diameter 2, for example. Yeah, it will be, looks good. And if I will confirm OK, the system will create the correct entity for me. Right now, you can see that my visualization of the entities, it's not so nice because the curve is really small one. It's only 2.0. In the option, you can specify the entity display. And for example, you can specify anti-aliasing and then you can specify the enable 8 per time and you can specify the quality of the edges so very high and if you come from OK the shape will be really nice and smooth OK great so let's continue we would like to finish this example so select please filter quilts and select first quilt the revolve feature and then with control button second quilt the system allows to you to select the merge feature from the flyout menu or you can use the ribbon right now you can see the different kind of the merge functionality with the arrow you can play and i will use the mode where the system will show me the results okay this is not what we would like to use you can change the visualization and again you can have a look what will be results okay this is what i would like to use in future and but i would like to show you more that you can combine four different options how the system can play with the visualize final results yeah so four different shapes can be realized with these two quilts and based on the arrow selection you can select what is your final results with the dynamic preview is possible to see so this is our final result and we would like to use it like it is great we will continue we will use the round feature and we will specify two edges the first one and second one the dimension will be for example 0.5 and if we will come from OK and I will hide the projection curve. It will be better for visualization. We have really nice example of how easy it is possible to create the quilts or merged surfaces. Yeah. Last feature what we would like to use is the thickness. So it's up to you if you would like to go up inside or outside. The system will add the necessary information and you can specify the thickness at the end define the color for example the green one or you can customize the just selected color in the right mouse button by edit and you can simply select the color color wheel and the system will dynamically change the color for you in this video tutorial we have learned how to use the quilts, how to merge the quilts, and with the understanding projection, sweep feature, round feature, and the thickness. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.